time for LG come back over. They're prepared, they're here, but still biding their time a little bit, waiting for a proto to pop out here as well. Has the flash ready. LG slowly moving forward, still biding their time. Tig just peeking in, turret in. They're really taking their sweet time getting into the site. Gravity well to not let them in either. A proto is jumping a little bit awkwardly in because the team's not here yet. There we go. But it's already started to fall apart, just down to the 1v2. Moose coming back around, turret taking shots. He's just trying to find whatever. A drone through garage, you can gain a lot of space. You also have the dog from Zek, and if they wanted to use it, but they want to keep it quiet. Tig isn't going to expect it. They're this close away. Now he does, once the, the spike plant is pumped there for a moment. They're not even turning around this corner. Oh my god. They just get the spike down without really any utility. One flash is all they needed, and Tig trades for one. And it's the shock there that did so much damage to that family photo stuck in the corner. Still, though, 3v4. You see Lurks, your boy Dre with the Vandal. Pushing on forward, has to kill one out, doesn't win the fight. Don't lose, finds one as well. we are waiting for them to... Watching LG be less confident, I think, on their defense. Uh, your boy Dre is here to lock it down. Who cares about comp? Working, Dazzle's in a prime position, though, to catch except on the cross, and he gets the first. Shock dart available, trying to find some damage on his way out. You see LG, the stampede is coming through. They're not going to let them feel way too remaining. comfortable whatsoever. Just down a second. Who finds one, but with 10 seconds remaining, save the weapon. That's probably the best choice. Or do you fight for more? I agree too, that's why I expose you. Okay, we're gonna have to expose this hit as your boy Dre finds the opening pick. Blade Storm available, he's just trying to survive. And he does not still though Tig able to provide some cover fire from Platt. Dazzle is One down and out for the count as still Tig is a revolving head of damage. Just down to the 1v2, very doable here for Def. 1v2, very injured Tig as well. One Shots there remaining. through the wood. And it's 89 versus 22. Astra versus Astra. Def looking at the man in the mirror saying, do I want him to change? There's the shot, it's oh! good! And the Red Bull close sides, we actually see what looks like to be like the Smash Brothers symbol on the top left. <laughs> what? Nope. Waiting for Pure. the defense. He's oh, finally taken down, gets him deep, but maybe a little bit too deep. Still now the lockdown plopped as they're trying to get control of this B site. Next set, we'll give it to him. Very chaotic round for the time being, but Exit have these these really interesting set plays of trying to get onto that B site and get the plant down, get out of dodge. They've got a couple of players outside of B. No flank to be concerned about, but now that it's just your boy Dre, you have to back up and go ahead for the save. The operator so good in those situations to hold maybe two or three enemies, but once you get four and they're all coming at you from different angles, it is so challenging to actually provide cover to whoever's defusing the spike, and he's caught. Uh, they're very happy with this continuous friend right they can get the positions that they want you can even see how confident pure is with the support of second pure falls second swings now the secrets are going to try to give them a little bit more space but he tailwinds right into another gravity well still doesn't matter because lg are on the site finally they open up but guess who's had a lot of time to develop Here. death from the back mows down two and link as now they'll start to work their way onto defusing the spike, but at this point, is it too little, too late? Potentially at the hands of Pure, now just your boy Dre with an op, and see if Pure wants a little bit more. He does, they're just gonna chase him down. Diggs the man with a rifle. Oh, but if he gets spammed, that is absolutely brutal. Your boy Dre, look at him go! Yep, finds two on the swing there, still does get taken down. That are a little bit worse for wear. Trying to spray the one out, and that'll even the odds. 3v3 as LG. Oh, that Hunter's Fury to try and get some tags off with. Yeah, Dazzle's gonna be the most annoying player for the rest of this round. And you can actually see BCJ is going to try to deal with them. Shock dart in. Okay, I'll do some chip damage. It's not enough. That's BCJ needs to win this battle. Meanwhile, there's a oh. battle over towards the garage. The swing, the shock darts. Oh my <laughs> god! Anime. The anime battle of the century. Just down a moose with the sheriff. The only one that didn't manage to pick up a rifle. He's gonna try to get you get a cheeky. Okay, Don't 1v1. Now a little more work. double. Gonna get it to half. Aaron's probably gonna have the number here. Thrown in. No one to follow. The rest of the team's on the opposite side. It's gonna be a fast blitz in. Tig's already been taken care exactly of. Your boy Dre trying to play close to the box on the site itself, but ends up losing his life. And now Pure is just in an annoying position on the 50. Guess who's here? Hey, Proto. Okay, I'm gonna one check. Oh, remaining. you're not. You're dead. And another one oh. comes in for pure dirty. 
Sova, Sky, maybe not the best at stopping an aggressive attack, apart from just flashing and trying to oh. get something going. How does he get that kill? Dashing for flat, etc. Have a little more difficult time. Look at Aaron now. The oh, he gets caught out by the alarm bot. That's so annoying. He had oh. a monster flank coming on it, and he still will. He can actually move up B. There's a killjoy here to lock him down, so he may have to commit to not going for that with the turret at the ready. Also, this lockdown slowing things down immensely, and I think there's even a concuss going in onto that on BCGA in the back corner there, down long. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit tough. There's gonna be the tap. The boy Dre finds that. Flick still though two players remaining they can make this a little bit deadly just down to Aaron and he's gonna do all that he can the peek through still one's gonna be a little bit close welcome them into the cypher trips if they end up deciding to attack C. Well the hits coming on to be fast and BCJ is ready with a close angle tries to escape but not it's a fast split to A but there is the jet already there nope. Aaron trying to provide some cover fire as they retreat into Link but doesn't really find much success with it now. Whoa! Okay, never mind. Make me get my word. Still finds it regardless. One like it doesn't look like a little bit too far backwards, but Cure has nowhere to go but forward here over towards Log. That's what the Mollies are all about. And he's not going to expect a player in Garage. Really nicely played by Moose. He's back. He's back to rock with over on those close angles. But once again, it's LG up towards B. They've recognized a weak point. They're here to attack, but Aaron has the flank. He might even have a gun on top of it. Oh no, the secret! Second backside not letting him on to B. The spike is... They, they typically are playing a little bit deeper on that B site. By the time that LG made a lot of noise, they're ready to... He needs to move fast. That's kind of the key here because they're going to hit A. Moose is going to flank and punch back. But guess who's... B BCJ is watching that angle. He's he, he actually gets that? It. Oh my god. How? How? How do they read that flank? How? That's I'm just so gross. impressed. I'm impressed. That is just gross. It is, uh, it, it's that gets it peeks out mid to destroy that turret, so the defaults from LG are not working. Once again, this time he's already into A Link, and this is how LG could win the round. The cabbage is coming in. That's a lot of chaos on the opposite side. Moose gets the first, but can't convert on the second. Now to 2v2. 2v2 with the spike being planted here, of course, and your boy Dre in a good position. Dazzle in a good position. This is a great round for LG to come out on top, but except they're not together. Aaron and Zekin separate. They've got to time this hit correctly. And already a player's lost HP from shots. Doc Dart. Flash in. Good on to one. Last Great communication down to the 1v1 in second. On the box with the pistol. Trying to get up and over. But the Ooh. shot's good. For None in the tank. I was about to lose my mind there on BCJ, but it's not good enough to take the round in the end. I kind of like the, the the coining of the, the term King of Garage. It, I don't know. Reminds me of like, he spends, he buys an off, right? Like yeah. he's, he's living large. Yeah. It's spoon fed by his team, you know, here you go. Here's a drop. No, you only have a pistol. A second Whoa. has more than that. He's gonna pop one out, but he's just in a little bit of a tough spot. He's still gonna come out alive though. And still one player remains, it's Moose, and he's gonna be sent to heaven. Planted. Second will find that out very quickly. Nobody's up on the boost. Someone is just gonna break it down. Still waiting if they pop up. You have to consider like a proto's in heaven, and then Tig is in there for the very late flank into heaven too. So Luminosity have so many options because of the time they've been afforded with this late retake from X set. They can play it however they want, and they're gonna do it by crunching in on mid very late in the round as Tig moves into that flank. Yeah, let's find a pick. Can he find two? Yes, sir. We just have one final player, Def, taken care of a pro. That one, but what am I watching? What am I watching? <laughs> that spike down. That spike down, your boy Dre. Oh, you're in trouble, buddy. The wall goes up, and they're just trying to fight this through. So far, no one's falling from exit. There we go, but has to reload the clip is your boy Dre. Yeah, this is deadly from exit. They don't give up. Or they give up a lot of mid control and then boom, gun round comes out. Oh my out. word! Four players. Right, they think they're playing LG overstep. They will get absolutely destroyed. Oh, Tig spike playing a little bit too close, and that's actually Spike Carrier down. Tig trying to find that duel against second. Left. Finds it, and he's just holding on to the spray from Death. Finally, they will take apart the defense on the site. But at this point, X has already come to play from them. Here we go. There we go. Showstopper available. Oh, there's no run, Jerry buddy. Picking those kills. Your boy Dre finds the showstopper Ooh. through the smoke. Second. My goodness. He's got the bullet tracers on. He yep. sees that vandal from a mile away. Oh, no. That's another ult that's been expended. Oh, this is not looking good. Two players remain just down to dazzle. I have the spike. Ten seconds left. 
just trying to get this to go up. Dazzle's ready here with the paranoia, and that's going to be a little bit problematic. And Fuhrer will Hello. feel that problem. Still, even death falling behind the screens there. That's going to be a little bit challenging for Exit to hold on to. Second, still doing what he can. He's going to get walled off. And this actually could be around. Oh, especially with the flanker from Tick. Second was not expecting that. Lurking all the way through. Almost finds the frag onto Aaron. 2v4 now in favor of LG. And they are in a prime position to win this round. Griffin's not Only looking kill. great, though. Already lost another player. They're all grouped up here behind Elbow, but the time is ticking. That is the problem. That's the other player in the lobby that's not accounted for. BCJ just does not care. Pushing up fast, pushing up, moving up, finds another. Okay, 2v2 now, and all of a sudden, just down to Aaron as he's already been healed up. The wall is about to be broken. One player behind the flower pot, and it's your boy. Committing up into heaven, didn't have one, someone sewers or anything like that. We're once again in mid. And oh uh, just killing everybody and everything. How how do they come out with that? Wasn't there a flash of paranoia that came through? Players were not able to see. And somehow they come out with a favorable trade. Exet is just a different breed. Yeah. Just a different Pure, breed. Pure just traded back a, a, a nade into it and just stopped them from swinging out too. It's just, it's so nice. The, the instant reaction knows that's what I have to do to make sure my team can get out of the situation, but there's still three players in mid holding this cross. What is like, this? They're like, where are these shots? Oh, wait, hold on. Moose. Wall goes up, stops him from any initial contact. Moose has to win this, but he's not going to expect the saves to be here already. Clear that spot over by Car. Just really nice. Oh, Dazzle. Oh, he's even going to get support here. Viper coming in from behind, who had the pit down low. Down the ramp. Uh-oh. Oh. Got with the snake fight out, but that's actually going to help right out. They're all vulnerable. Eight. Not going to be enough, though. We still, boiling down to the 2v3. Resurrection comes through, and you can see Exit wants to fight for that. Oh, slow down. Moose is going to just barely try to escape. Showstopper in. Not going to find its mark. 2v3 now as the cabbages come through. They're all a little bit spread out. The spike is in a very tough spot. One player already resurrected, already down as it's traded by a proto. Playing close. That's not the wall you want, but it's the wall you'll get. Second. Oh, no. In that same situation, our, our LG even going to... Uh, your boy Dre has ult. Activate, okay. He finds the orb, finds the ultimate. Hasn't popped it yet. I like this, but he's out of mobility. There we go. Now it's popped, hoping to find a player. In the meantime, Pure goes on a spree. And it's, oh my. <laughs> Listen, with, with talk like that, I'm starting to get a bit afraid, okay? Slow it down, okay? I know this isn't your first rodeo, but it's just slow it down on the cast of curses. Okay, BCJ survives temporarily. As we're back down to the 2v3, and finally the B site is open season for LG. They'll manage to get the spike down, which means the onus on X set to retake the site. If you haven't seen too much of, finally we will. Oh, the timing of your boy, spike Dre. Planted. just checked vents. There wasn't a player here. Aaron's going to come in a little late. Your boy Dre has to be patient for this, has to get it, and he does. Now you have that pinch. You can actually loop back all the way to B main or just cut noise and threaten that he's still going back up towards heaven. But it's planted for B main, so that's exactly what he's going to do. I love this. Luminosity have set up the perfect crossfire to shut down the retake from Exet. Now, the big question is, Ender, how does Exet play this out? Cosmic Divide out. No, that feels so bad. That's going to allow him to start the defuse. He's just going to pop out, but have that ultimate teleport that you can work with. Let's view the lineup on to B as your boy Dre just continues to go on a rampage. That can only stop that rampage for the time being and might have more in the tank where that came from. Are they sure that he left? No, not quite. Second for three. And now just down to Aaron, a proto barreling it over towards the B site. Shot's good and that is spiked down. Now the 1v1 Moose. Versus oh, Aaron. How he played this. The turret gets plopped. And Moose is now looking for Aaron. Shots not good enough. Moose coming back up towards mid and then into vents. But oh. Aaron's gonna get some big oh. information. He's like, wake up. Aaron's like, wait, huh? And as well, Aaron doesn't really have any of those particular utility pieces that would put us in a post plant position. But it doesn't matter. Still playing for B main. Watching those flanks. Meanwhile, G are going to be pushing in three from heaven and one from the back alleyway. Moose is going to be the first 
contact point potentially. A lot of these exit members are a little bit low from some of the earlier engagements. Paranoia crew that's gonna find a lot of members, but a counter flash, I like that play, and already it's starting to fall apart here for LG, just down to a proto, hoping to find some success with the jumping classic. It's not going to be the case. Five to eight, Exet with a solid through it as the two players that did die didn't invest in the rivals. They're holding on to the sheriffs, knowing that a four round advantage, go for the bonus, is exactly the right play. Oh, that bulldog is out and gone. Okay, Tick trying to hold on to B main, but he's forced off the angle. Slow orb as well, so he can't repeat that. The B control is completely in the hands of oh, Exet. And they're not even letting the B main players survive or like have. Oh, wait. Planning for Alex. Okay. Oh, I love this. Knowing two players are in B main, they're just going to try and take alley control and regain heaven control. Moose has no idea. Oh. Say hello. Now, I mean, how many times have you tried retaking a site playing two out of B main? Well, the enemy team just has full control over alley and heaven. This is not something you run into every day. Yeah, and they've got an upgrade as well for Moose. Dazzle just trying to run away. They'll start those taps, but it's the sprays that are going to be so problematic. And the fact that players are coming in from heaven, Dazzle is able to stop one for now. But there's just too many places to look, too many places to check. And base in B heaven, it's now the push into A site. And that wall means that Tig doesn't see any of this happening. Now he has info and he has to show up big here. Yep, and of course, unfortunate for Tiggy, he was looking in a little bit of a tougher spot. Aaron stuck in the 50. By the way, Zekin. A little bit more. There's Zekin, finds the scoop onto one, and now he can start to flank him behind. That's a really great nade from Pure, as it's able to help in the battle against Moose, a proto last and standing. Exit on point. And this could all be over here, as they will move on. Where LG start the seven round comeback. Seven rounds. Attack go through over towards A. Your boy Drake oh, gets shot no. before he can even use the showstopper. That's like that that that's I don't want to call it there, but that is like the last ditch effort to salvage something. Right? Showstopper, find a multi-kill, maybe find one, convert onto a second, something like that. Change something together. You even saw the paranoia from Dazzle early. I wonder if it was if it was intentional that it was supposed to be paired oh, up man. with Showstopper. It doesn't matter. They've got a Showstopper of their own. A Proto ends up falling. Everyone is crumbling to pieces as Xset will move. No, will they move along though? Moose. No, Moose. Unfortunate for Moose. <laughs>